Crop columns. We first obtain a PVC pipe of 4 inch diameter and 6 feet long. We then puncture holes in this way. One can use a drill or even a heated nail to make these holes. Then we bury one end of the pipe at a depth beyond half a foot so that it remains firmly planted on the ground. This being well fixed is important lest the column starts tilting in a few days. And next, we obtain a polythene tube with a diameter of three feet. This can be any height. I have kept this at a height of four feet and I have filled it with soil at the bottom of the pipe. We need to be careful to center the pipe when filling soil. We mix four different kinds of soil. Rice husk charcoal, surface soil, compost and goat dung is mixed in a ratio of one to one to one to one. We need to firmly tamp it down all around. If not firm, when planting another type of vegetable later, we may have some difficulties. It is in these apertures that we plant the seeds. To facilitate rooting, we place these at a slight angle. The easiest vegetable to cultivate in this way is cabbage. Although it may be a challenge for many, it is possible in this place to grow this vegetable. If this model is followed in a city environment, we can cultivate quite a variety for domestic needs. If first we grow cabbage, then what is harvested is adequate for six to seven days of use. Alongside cabbage, one can also grow capsicum. In this way, two items of food for the family can be grown on this first level. At the next level, we can grow some chili for daily use. There are two reasons why chili may be grown on the top. One is, it grows in this direction. In that way, it seeks the sunlight. Around the crop column, we use coconut husk to build a space for further cultivation. We can leave one and a half feet width and place the coconut husk in this way, always keeping it toward us. In this way, the husk will not wither and fall away later. The advantages in this method is that the decaying husk serves as good fertilizer and it builds a layer of nutritious soil. Also, the coconut fiber in the husk retains moisture at a very high level. This is excellent for the plants when they are growing. Also, even during the wet season, there is very little erosion of the soil because the husk holds it all together. So the use of husk is very beneficial for these several reasons. And further, the coconut husk is rich in phosphorus. In this way, it nourishes the soil even as it decays. Afterward, when we use the prepared soil mix and place it in this plot, one can grow a variety of vegetables. This too is good since it provides a variety in the food menu. What we plan to grow here is the red variety of Mukunuvan and the green herbal Mukunuvan. Next, Kankum. So, with this crop column, we have long term, medium term, and short term crops perpetuated. With this intercropping method, we have items which can be harvested in 15 days and 3 months in the case of the medium term. When the dry season occurs, we just fill water at the top of the pipe and irrigate the column. This is quite adequate. We do not need to put water onto the individual plants on the column 
and within the space of two weeks, the cabbage would have flowered as well as the chili, and a totally green aspect would be generated. In this way, dehydration of the system is prevented even when the sun is hot or when the wind is present.